Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the Moore Industries Heart Concentrator System, also known as our model HCS. And before we get started looking at the configuration software, here's a couple of photos of the HCS itself. Uh, the first photo that you see, that was how the HCS was originally or initially released. And here on the second photo is how it looks right now. We, of course, we made a few cosmetic changes. The biggest change being that the uh, the DIN latch on the back side, you can't see it in the photo, but on the back side, it's a, it's a much better DIN latch. So the HCS will hang on to your DIN rail much more securely. Um, and just a few cosmetic changes on the front. So that is the HCS itself. Now, and also, uh, if you're gonna communicate from your PC to the HCS to configure it. You'll need one of two different cables that we offer. Here are the part numbers here. One of them is a nine pin serial cable. So it goes into a, say an older type of PC with a nine pin serial port. And the other one is a USB cable. So you'll need one of these two cables. And here's a, a photo of the both of them. And the nine pin cable, make sure it's, the, if you have one, that it's the one with the orange bands on it that you can see here. Okay, and the USB cable, of course, will work with, with everything. So without further ado, let's take a look at the configuration software for the HCS. Okay, right here, uh, you can see we have standard windows, uh, these three, areas on top it's just the uh, title bar here and down here is the menu bar and down here is the toolbar so on the uh, title bar you see it says hcs configuration it does say untitled there in front of it uh, that's because in this current configuration that i'm looking at i have not saved it as a file and, you know once you save it and give it a name then that name will show up here in the title bar Okay, so let's take a look down here on the menu bar. Uh, pretty standard Microsoft looking stuff. Uh, file, view, uh, you, know, so you can view the toolbar and the status bar. The status bar is way down the bottom here. Uh, if you don't wanna look at it, you just click that off. But we'll leave it on for now. Uh, transfer and click on that. You can do an upload or download from this selection. An upload means you're uploading the current configuration from your HCS onto the screen of your PC. And a download means you're downloading the configuration that you have on the screen, you're downloading it to your HCS. Okay. Communication, this is uh, of course most important that whatever COM port you select uh, must match what your PC is using. So right now my PC is using COM3, so I have to tell the software here to look at COM3 when it's doing the configuration. You also have COMX down here, because if you use the USB cable, you can def, you know assign it to any COM port you wish. Let's click on that, and you can see you can then type in whatever COM port you would like. You know, it'll go all the way up. Uh, of course, I don't want to change mine, I'm on COM3, so you, if, for chance you wanna use one of the higher number COM ports, you can type it in there and then your software will talk to that COM port. Again, we'll go back to COM3. Uh, monitoring, this will, you can start monitoring or stop monitoring. Help, uh, it's important, you got help and about, so the about will give you the current um, version of the ACS configuration software that you are using. And this can be important uh, if you call for tech support, we'll ask you what version you're using so we can make sure that we can match you know, what you are seeing and so we can assist you. And of course, help and about more industries give you all the information about us. Okay, so that's the, uh, the menu bar. The toolbar is very similar. You can dwell over these different icons with your cursor. You can see the default configuration there. And that one is important because if you're in the middle of configuring your HCS and you, you get a call on the phone or something and you get distracted and you wanna start over, you can go there and just click on that and it'll load the, the default configuration back onto your screen and you can start anew. Uh, right here is open, so if you have a, configuration that you have saved to your disk drive, you can click on there and it'll go to that directory and you can find that configuration file. 
Uh, next one over here is just save. So if you have a configuration on your screen uh, and it's working for you and that's what you want to keep, you can just click on that icon and you can save it to a file. Uh, you can print it out so you can see, you know, if you want to keep a printed record of how your ACS is configured. Uh, the upload and download arrows, again, upload the configuration from the HCS, and the other one is download the configuration to the HCS. And now we have what we call our VCR buttons. If you click on here, it'll start monitoring, and this one will stop monitoring. And if you hit the help, it'll bring up a, a PDF file of the HCS uh, manual. So uh, the first thing I want to do then, well, this is an overview of the HCS configuration software. So we're going to cover everything that's in this left column. Now over here, you'll notice all the specific tabs we have, heart, mod bus, heart devices, one through eight, nine through 16, and the status. We'll cover all those tabs in separate uh, tutorials. That way, if you want to know something about setting up the mod bus section, then you don't have to go through a long tutorial. You can go directly to that one and learn how to set it up the Modbus uh, configuration that you need. So, yeah, so let's take a look down the side here. But before we do it, let's. I want to do an upload. I do have an HCS configured uh, on here. We we'll do an upload so I can upload my current configuration. Notice we have a progress bar down here, and there we go. Now we have my current configuration. So. Let's take a look. Program status, right now it is idle. I am not monitoring anything. Uh, the HCS status is okay. I did the upload and it got no errors. Uh, HCS tag, this is good if you have a, a, some kind of identifying a name you wanna give to your, uh, to your system here. So I'm just gonna type in uh, heart, heart, Oop, let's back it up. Heart one, so this would be my heart loop one. Uh, the device information, now right here where it says device ID is zero, and I apologize for that because I have a, a, a you know pre-production HCS on there, so it never got a serial number, but if you have your own HCS connected, the serial number will show up right there where it says device ID. So you don't have, if we wanna know the uh, serial number of the device uh, and you call for service or tech support, then rather than you having to go to the rack and try to read the serial number off the side of it, you can see it right there on your software. Uh, the hardware revision of my HCS is 1.0. My software revision is 4.3, and it was last programmed on the date you see here. So, and those are all good pieces of information we might ask you if you call for technical support. We're down here is a progress bar will appear here whenever you're doing an upload or a download or if you're monitoring. So, as long as I'm hooked up, well, I have this heart one here. Let's send that down to my HCS. So if you hit the down arrow here, it'll download the configuration and ask you to verify that that's what you wish to do. Say yes. And you see the progress bar and it's downloading this name into my HCS. So it's heart one. And then if we want to monitor my loop, I'll just hit the monitor button. And there, you see it's starting to work. And we'll cover this hard tab in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And here at the end of the tutorial, you'll see some um, numbers and methods which you can use to contact more industries technical support. We're always glad to hear from our customers. Thank you very much.